Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. My name's Keith. Hey, a lot going on today in the news. There's just a lot in general going on with this whole impeachment deal, or impeachment inquiry, I should say. Did you guys see that uh, Rashida Tlaib is now selling T-shirts that say "Impeach the MFR"? Because that's grown up. Yeah. A sitting member of Congress is selling T-shirts that say impeach the mf -er. It kind of blows my mind. But then again, what, what that it, it really shouldn't blow my mind because what did she say in her um when she got elected to Congress? She gets up on that on the uh, podium there up on the or up on the stage and in front of her kids and everybody that says, you know, what we're going to we're going to do is we're going to impeach this mf -er, right in front of everybody. So shouldn't come as a surprise that she's one of the leading people um, on this whole impeachment craze. And, and the Democrats are getting, de they're, they're so desperate. It is, and it's so obvious to everybody but them. Truck going by. Um, they, even before he became, even before his inauguration, they were trying to do it, pull this shit with um, Stormy Daniels. And then it was the whole Russia collusion thing. That didn't pan out. And, and the Mueller report, that didn't pan out. So now they have this false narrative of a whistleblower story who seems, and it seems to be unraveling rather quickly, um, came out today that Adam Schiff had a meeting with the whistleblower two weeks prior to that um, the whistle, whistleblower's um, I don't know, it's not commentary, but the whistleblower's um, paper being, you know, coming out uh, or, or being not really made public, but me, you know, being presented to Congress and the Department of Justice, whoever else gets a copy of that shit, um, which, which kind of intrigues me because Adam Schiff is like the biggest, pompous, lying piece of shit, little shit Schiff, as I, as I called him. He, he has been, you know, front and center of this. Like, impeach any any chance. He, he's like that lady, uh, what's her face? Chicken Florida. I can't remember her name. God, that annoying lady congresswoman who's always like, Pete Fortify, Pete Fortify. I can't remember, can't remember her name right now. But anyways, he's like her. Um, So he gets, he has a meeting with the whistleblower two weeks prior to the formal document coming out and it is malicious that whistleblower document is nasty um, and has and, and, and apparently it has um, a lot of nothing going on in there according uh, in regards to what the actual transcription says of Trump's call with Zelensky which doesn't surprise me because they don't. I don't think that the Democrats, especially a little shit Jeff, was planning on Trump saying, "All right, you want to see it? You can see it. I just got to get permission from the Ukrainian president so we can show you the transcript." Here you go. Nothing said. Perfect conversation, just like he's been saying. It's been a perfect conversation. Email just came in. Apologize. Um, so I think that they're being blown up. So you get this. My point being that, so since Schiff had this meeting two weeks prior to the document coming out, that I think he had something to do with it. I think he helped write the freaking thing. I'm pretty sure he did. And that's why he's so pissed off that Trump released the transcripts. Because now it totally blows his story out of the water because now there is no story. He's got So that's why he went up on, you know, in front of um, uh, the DNI, McGuire, when he was giving his opening statements and he made that parody out of the... The transcripts where he made the entire thing up to fit his narrative. That's what he wanted it to say. And that's what he, I'm sure, the, he told the whistleblower, all right, we're going to put all this in, in your, uh, in this document. And don't worry about it because uh, since you're a whistleblower, you're protected under federal law. And you don't have to worry about anything. You, you are, you don't even have to come forward. That is why they did that. Schiff couldn't do it on his own. He's like, well, all right, let's see, what can we do? Trump just talked to the Ukrainians. There was a lot going on with the Ukrainians in the 2016 election. Hmm. Let's make this crap up. Let's uh, 
let's make a whistleblower complaint. And I'll write all this crap in there. We'll use this guy as a whistleblower who had secondhand knowledge, which means that anybody with firsthand knowledge didn't come forward. So there's nothing there. But um, I'm going to use this guy as a whistleblower so I can, I, I can write up this nasty narrative and we'll, we'll try to impeach Trump on that. Not knowing that Trump's like, screw you, I'm calling your bluff, and here's the transcripts. So suck it. Suck it, shit, Schiff. <laughs> Jesus, that was pretty good alliteration right there. Suck it, shit, Schiff. Suck it, shitty, Schiff. Sounds like that song. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. Shitty, Schiff. Shitty, Schiff, bang, bang. Shitty, Schiff, bang, bang. Da, 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 da. All right, anyways, sidetracked. But that, that's the deal. They're, they're grasping at straws. There's nothing going on. They have, these are all my, you know, my opinions. I, I, some of it's true, some of it's just a, opinion. Um, but it's my strong belief that Adam Schiff had a hand in writing that whistleblower complaint. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm way off base. What do you guys think? Um, let me know. Leave me a, leave me a little note in the comments, and and uh, we'll talk about it further on my, on my next video if you, if you want to talk about it again. But I don't think this, I don't think it's going away anytime soon like I thought it was, but... Um, I don't think it's it's ever going to happen like the Democrats think. So there's a giant cricket over there that I've been staring at. It's like three inches long. I don't use miracle Grow on my lawn, but maybe my neighbors do, and it got stuck in the miracle Grow and it ate some grass, and good God, maybe it's not a cricket. Maybe it's a freaking locust. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, um, another update. It's been 24 hours since I announced the winner of the Operation Gratitude contest. So that person has until tomorrow morning around 10 a.m. to get in touch with me. And uh, if you want to get your Conservative Patriot t-shirt or any need to do the drawing again and pick another winner. So if you're watching, check the video out from yesterday. I'm going to put a link, put a link right here to yesterday. Not yes, Yeah, was it yesterday? Days are blending together. Yesterday's video. And um, make sure that you uh, leave a comment for me or send me an email. Get in touch with me so I know that you uh, are um, ready to receive your your uh, Conservative Patriot t-shirt. Anyways, guys, have a, a great rest of the night. And always remember to stay on the right side. Talk to you guys soon.